There we go. Whenever the cam will be in the way, we got for options. Oh, you can use a paddle. You can keyboard and mouse for now. On his shirt. smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are.
<laughs> hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right! Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm... An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen. I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the pole cats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come! Switch render mode. Hang on, let's check that out. Oh, yeah. Is that spacebar? Okay, spacebar got us to the menu. Doesn't it like arrows? What's going on here? Oh, 
object. And we have to shift. Okay, there we go. Dempster. Boxes. More boxes. Let's go this way. Inside the kickstand. That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. <laughs> Come to love. <laughs> Need some keys. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Go in the door then. Maybe the keys are in the back alley. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, okay, so we've got kick, punch, lick. That's what I keep saying. Let's see if nah. we boxes. He can flatten his own boxes. Alright, kick the boxes. Nah. He can flatten his own boxes. Check here. I can't see any use for those. Take that. <laughs> Can't go that way. All right. So if I try the door up my hand. Open up. Go. Open it up. Kick it in. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Lots of things. Yeah, right. Got no home to hang it in. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Can't. Got a ride. Don't drink and drive. Nothing to grab. It's empty. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything. 
Lick the piano. It's hard enough to play with your fingers. Check the little knapsack or we'll jump right Some joker took my keys. It's screwed shut. I prefer doors anyway. Got no home to hang it in. Some monitors, bottles, and cash register. The badger. Its little feet are nailed to the piano. It's beyond mouth to mouth. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. You the A number one polecat honcho. Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens, whatever will we do? That does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. That's a spirit. Don't get up now. All right. I need that. I'd like to make you just something about fighting an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Coley's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Let's 
so. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Um. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. We've established who she is. How's it look? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new. Just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. I'm gonna have to circle back. Who are you? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Is this an authorized Corley Service Center? This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. Look, if you want me to finish this thing... Say no more. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Take the gas can. Oh, good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen. I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. 
My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. <laughs> that closed the mailbox. Oh, she's a bum. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy nobody. Some boy who loved the food. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my art. So blow. Hey, I hear you already. Hey, you lousy nobody. Some boy who loved the food. Steel bars in the glass. just fall apart. It's even sadder looking inside. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Steel bars in the glass. You just try to kick his door in? Seems seems uh, not very polite. Wouldn't look good on my bike. It's locked up with steel brackets. Locked up with steel brackets. A lockpick won't help there. Gas can hose. Oh, it's not 
Take your bird dead. But sugar, I won't let it go to my head. My mama's face has dripped down into the dirt. But I'm still chasing Chitlin's whiskey and skirt. It's even sadder looking inside. chimney, maybe that'll piss them off and it'll come up. Steel bars in the glass. I give it another kick. A lockpick won't help. Don't see anything here. Up your bike. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. out. Do it from here.
buddy? Maybe nobody's there. But who set off the alarm to Floyd? Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Hover sled. Oh, yeah. Let's get one. I don't touch anything without wheels. I don't touch anything without wheels. Well, let me, uh... Sure. Go up the ladder. I don't think so. You, sir. I don't touch anything without wheels. Can't kick it. Take the gas. A gas can won't help here. A hose won't help here. Meat, maybe the meat. That's will not help. one of meat's many uses. <laughs> uh, okay. Lick the ladder. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, I got lock them in, maybe. And shut the door. So maybe try to lock on this guy here. That's not something I want to lock. That's not something I want to lock. Guess not. Else we can go under this thing. This guy's place. Is that blinking? I don't touch anything without wheels. No. No. Don't think so. It's just a hiding spot. I didn't do anything back here. I 
Nah, she's got a wrench. <laughs> Don't grab more Okay, let's go back to that guy's house and see if we can actually get him upstairs somehow. Can't you cross? Yeah. You not for a reason or you just nuts? Get away from my door, you bonehead punk. There you lousy Kick it in his face. I think he's had enough. Chasing Chitlin's whiskey and skirt. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. the torch from the scoober. I don't know, is he still knocked out? The population is greatly decreased and now the odds are greatly increased that I may someday get a chance I don't collect art. I mean, I also don't collect whatever that is. I thank the Lord each day. I don't collect art. I mean, I also don't collect whatever that is. Art sculptures. Oh, gas cap. Maybe you try that. That's not something I want to lock. Oh, hose. 
Yeah, dirt. I gotta be able to siphon. A hose won't help here. Put your mouth on it. Jeez. There we go. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. <laughs> Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. That run. Get out of there. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Forks at the junkyard, but we gotta get that goddamn door open. Uh, I wonder what else we can do with that. And this is a new option here. Try the It's unlocked. No. Open up, Todd. Find the chain. Ah, uh, junk. There's a pupper in the yard there. Oh, we got the meats. Give the meats to the dog. That's not one of Meat's many uses. There's no... Hmm. Cars. No thank you. Full parts pile. Get him down. He needs dogs. Peter Patters. He just wants the pets, yeah. The pets. Run! Well, when can I throw him the meat? Meat dogs. So 
any other other means that we go this way as a leaf. We'll back up the chain. Works until you pet some, yeah. With Kuma. Throw the meats from here. That's not one of meat's many uses. We'll go this way then. Let us go further right. Got a crane or something going on. Dunking again. something on that screen but it might be timed Stink will last very long. Ah, uh, junk. Oh, come on. Down. Needs dogs. Do I still have the meat, though? No. All right. Can we go on the first pile? Or are there multiple doggies? Cars. No, thank you. Multiple doggies. So the same dog. It's just busy. Down. Needs dogs. change now that the action for the, the doggo is busy eating steak. 
Nope. Teleports beside you. Down. Bad dog. something on the screen with the dog and the cars, but... Anything up in this direction? Nope. Okay, sure. Down. That's one ill-tempered mongrel. No, thank you. Stake in the wrong car? Too close to where we need to go? Down. That's one ill-tempered mongrel. Cars, no thank you. Must be something else. What are we missing? 
this and Orcs are in this pile, we just gotta neutralize the dogs somehow. Like, you can see them, they're right there. Garbage. can touch the car if the dog is in it. Oh, we got for items. A lockpick. No, nope, can't touch the car. Down. Bad dog. thing I see highlighted is the cars. You can't go left, you can't go right. anything. I'll wait till she's done. Nah, she's got a wrench. Yeah, Ben? How's it look? Well, basically, what you got here is a unicycle. All we need is some new forks, and I can fix it. I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Back to the junkyard. stairs or whatever, so if you keep creeping along the top of the... Okay, keep going. There's an up arrow. for down. See him, he's stuck up in there. Forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. 
All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> said my goodbyes. <laughs> Alright, so the cops are watching the way out. other way. Nah, nah. I've already said my goodbyes. No, what are you doing? Probably send us back. if we go back to this thing and try to set the alarm off we'll cause a distraction I can't think of anything else should go off as soon as we touch the ladder Back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. 
Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. <sighs> Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> Not the minivans. You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors? Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the memo. Maybe I beat him. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Here 
Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete. That is me, Grant. That's pretty much my own. Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. Mink ranch. She said she that's pretty Again. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Mellonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck savagely and without mercy police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the polecats no with the exception of their leader who is still at large roadblocks have been set up along highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal we've been set up roadblocks suck I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Sure does. Check outside. No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. 
Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor! He's gotta get me out of this! Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. He's got a couple. My career is riding on those pictures! Help me, Ben! You're my only hope! Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. I'm not putting my lips on that. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. The monitor doesn't have any controls. but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all-points bulletin. They got the polecats. Latest reports suggest that the leader of the polecats may have had an accomplice, a young mechanic. Maureen. The two are being sought by authorities for questioning in connection with the violent death of motorcycle magnet Malcolm Corley. Asked about the eminent shareholders meeting, Corley Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward with the shareholders meeting until the perpetrators of this myth's deed have been brought to justice. He's up to something. He wants us dead before the meeting starts. Emmett will talk to us though, because like he's gotta do something. He's got a knife. Yeah, okay. Come on, talk to him. He's got a knife. Kick him. He's got a knife. Lick him. Oh, okay. There you go. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> oh, that face. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers. They turned me around and said police business only. Pigs. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Give me a knife. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Yeah. 
didn't just kill a guy though. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I think he's supposed to cave in. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quoho. I need to get to this place. Uncle Beat's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty tonight. How poetic. Let me try that again. Only if it'll shut you up. Hmm. to show him this, I believe. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the feds, Chunk. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh-oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did.
tire iron under the pillow. I couldn't break that lock. Ah, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? my booster fuel. Uh, why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. That voiceover that does brain, maybe? It's bolted on. That's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. It landed beside. What a mess. I've done my heavy lifting for the day.
Father Tor. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cavefish specs. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. It's my religion to hijack the big rigs. You're right. No one's tougher than me. That's my boy. Well... Take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Shut your horror face. Everybody's so aggressive. You're gonna die now, you freaky punk. I hate cold This time you're gonna stay. Hey. Get wrecked. Music. 
so we did a lap. Snacks it right away. I missed it the first time. Look weird. I assume we need to go down this road, because the only exit is Highway 9. You like choppers, huh? Just has a chainsaw. <laughs> Just done. Say there, is that a re-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-ta! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! like eight times. It's gonna be a timing thing. Nine. 
shouldn't hit a man wearing glasses. You crowd and shove your face. Slap <laughs> your <laughs> <laughs> Just wrecked. Come on. Just come up on the slime bucket. <laughs> Look at him run. It was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the Corley women out of hiding with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. 
It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Puyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm, recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and a silly looking ramp with dayglow flames painted on it. Hmm. No. No. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, That's a good looking bike. Touch anything without wheels. What do we got? That's trashed. Maybe I'll just take a little. Okay, uh, which direction do we go? Can we put the thing on the bike? Looks okay for an aftermarket part. Okay.
if you're paying attention. That's one of these dudes. So I think it's a specific item for each of the bikers. If you can grab them. Back again. Good. Okay, lesson's over. Time for the final exam. Is there all the pain you can do? Grab it. Doesn't look like I can grab it. Render mode. Oh, look at that. Father Tor. Hey, Ben. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, 
It's about timing. You're right. No one's tougher than me. That's my boy. Well, take it easy, father. Give him hell, Polka. Bye. Nitro snail bait. Can't get him yet. Yeah, it's cool. It's just wiped out. Chainsaw chick. Nope, it's the dude. Bye. You drop anchor or something? Suck nitro, snail bait. Catch a ring. Give it to me. Your fire will be. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, gunk. Okay, yeah, uh, gunk. the right item for this guy. Eat this, Charlie. This time, you're gonna die now. I hate bullcats. Yeah. to see the uh, chainsaw lady again first, I think. Come on. Not this guy. Back again? Good. Okay, lesson's over. Time for the final exam. <laughs> It is random. I think you keep the stuff between the attempts, maybe. But you don't necessarily grab it, it just you acquire it, maybe? Is this? This is the dude. What's wrong? Lib divers? Got a chain. Now I'm 
bitch. Well, I wonder if I keep my chain. If I keep my chain, then that's fine. Because it's like completely random. You need a 2x4 to get these guys, so... Oh, we still have the chain. Okay. Can't reach. Can't reach him, so we'll just wait. Got him. Divers. That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. Him. Don't talk to him. Father Tor. Hey, man. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Did not go as planned. Ow. Ah, 
Okay. Spawn the salad finger looking guy. I like rusty bikes. Eat it. Motherfucker. Why? There's no oncoming traffic, so that's good. Hey buddy. Father Chor. Doing laps. Hey, Ben. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polgat. That's so neat. How it just transitions seamlessly. Bill. I wonder if they have an oil thing? What do we got? When he lifts his head. I think he lifts his head. Try that. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? God. Take it easy, Father. It's Give like the hell. sixth time we ran into each other. Why does this road just loop in circles? Oh, 
into the into the wall. Go into the wall. Well, I'm mad. Yeah, it may be a big roundabout. Oh, indeed, is this great guy? Oh, it's yellowish. Got him. Not want me to go that way? I saw an arrow. Definitely not my style. Needed the weapons to get the goggles so we can see use the goggles to, f to find the route to their base. Oh, I think I just passed it. Unless I just noticed the exit. So you can only wear them on this road. So in the bottom, somewhere on here, it should indicate that the cave shows up. Or the exit.
I don't spelunk. I don't think that's how they're used. Hmm. So we got here, but now what? Go I don't thing. spelunk. He's not a spelunker. I don't spelunk. No Found the ramp. No, that's not what I want. I want off. Oh, sweet. That's how tow kits work. Everything about these guys is creepy. Oh, come on, some bitch, go back. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. Oh. Take the trailer. I don't spelunk. <sighs> what the fuck? I'd better get out of here. Get up. Stay on your bike. My brothers, we have been visited by a spirit. The spirit of Ricky Myron, come to reclaim his ram. Why do you need it here? He can't use it because he is a spirit. He is only expressing his anger, which we must honor. 
Oh, angry spirit of Ricky Myron, we honor your rage. But for now, the ramp must go back. Going down the path. Remember all the buttons here. Lick it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Everything about these guys is creepy. There's many strolls in here. There's got to be something else we need to do as soon as. So last time we went, if we drive out from here, they stop you on the way out. Uh, the cave fish guys. Maybe well, let's just try it. Just get on the bike. And then we'll go this way. Okay, so they've taken the ramp back. Oh, go away. Uh... No, don't get off your bike. Come on. Go back on there. Oh, hey, Dunk. How's it going? What's with these lasers? Everything about these guys is creepy. Okay, so we grab the ramp. Something flew over that way. Grab the ramp again, attached to the bike. We 
There's nothing else highlighted. Just got like a laser show going on. Let's see. Okay, so maybe if we go to this spot. I'm not taking any strolls in here. Uh, yeah, you're not strolling. Jump on your bike. I'd better get out of here. So he stops here. So let's get off and see if we have any options. Can I? Yeah, there we go. if I touch the ramp. Oh, look at that. He's getting rid of all the... the things. It's like the cave fish there use the little reflective things on the ground. So they don't know where they're going. That makes sense. Right. So you put the ramp and then decided to like park your bike way in the hell over here. I think we have the booster already. I don't remember we have the hover lift. You get on the bike. And then we'll see what happens if we go off the ramp. No, don't. Nah, switch. Get back on there. It's the wrong way. So we want to go back the way we came. Oh, the audio is kind of gnarly. Stop driving. Keep going, I don't remember where this takes us.
There we go. Alright, I've modified my bike enough. You're evil. Got an achievement. Here goes. Just made it. Oh, yeah. That's where we're at. The big CM logo. Uh, shift. Let's head towards the door, maybe. The front door would be too easy. No. Nah. There's an arrow. I'm here for the shareholders' meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Yep. Tried to put me in a dumpster. Okay. Just like the cell doors in solitary. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Nah, keep knocking. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Nah, he's gonna be jerk. Corley Motors. I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. All the butts. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Ah, uh, same thing. All right. I'll go this way. Else can we go down? Souvenirs here. Ah. We got your hats. Uh. We got your pennants. There's a bunny. Right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. I want to like your own derby car by remote control. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little bunny. I got a button under my toe that's wired directly into Corley Security's alarm system. Of course, I could be lying, but the question is, do you feel lucky? Lately, no. We got your t-shirts here. All sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Talk to Horace. You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. Uh, you, big fella, come give our derby car a spin. <clears throat> what can I get you? There we go. Oh, where are all the lights on down here? All the lights down here. We got a demolition derby tonight. 
first prize is a vintage curly hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Bunnies and plenty of them. Bunnies and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Uh, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. What do those pennants say on him? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Those, uh, shirts come in extra, extra large? Eh. Eh, no. But they're pretty shrunk. No thanks. <laughs> How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Probably <laughs> some sort of packing material. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. Right, so... Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here. Even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, alright? Just clearing my throat. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. Uh. Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. <clears throat> Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, alright? Just clearing my throat. Okay, so he's done talking you to me. It, then it stinks. <laughs> Pat the bunny. You know you want to. Uh -oh, come back. You... All right, let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe you. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. And it's cheap, too. I'm practically giving this loot away. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? These souvenirs all have an expected appreciation rate of 300%. All right, let's see the cash, amigo. Hallelujah. No I think I gotta touch the bunny when he turns around. Don't crowd everybody, there's enough for everyone. That's right, official Corley Motors Smashatorium souvenirs. Just stuff some in his pocket. Okay, what the hell do I do with the bunny now? I got a bunny. First try is a nice spike. That's the old hardtail Mo restored with Malcolm. It's the exit. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way. Don't go away empty-handed. Come on, give me a break. All sizes and colors. <laughs> Maybe 
if I go back here and do something with the bunny. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Those weapons were out of weight. Back, back. Back. Okay. Well, what options do we have if we go back on the bike? Vulture hideout. The vultures hideout on the other okay. side of this field. There we go. A lot about the vultures. Uh, oh, well, that's. I guess it's all true. Looks like a bad day. Maybe this is what the bunny's for. Can I put him out? He just got wrecked. Okay. Uh, it gave us a battery, though. How else do you hide to detect the mines? Maybe the batteries for the car. The guy wouldn't let me take the car because I had no money, but maybe scoop it as well. remote control souvenirs here that's right official Corley Motors smashatorium souvenirs sure sure take it for a spin just don't go out of range fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice looks like it's getting weak you'll be keeping cold and looking bold oh great you killed the battery should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Don't crowd everybody. There's enough for everyone. Lovable, lovable little bunny. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. These souvenirs all have an expected appreciation rate of 300% per year. Hey, don't go in there. Look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. 
Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. Now we got all the bunnies. Okay. I was thinking we'd use the car to go through the minefield, but maybe a box of bunnies might be better. Field's been replanted. Tidy little vultures. Okay. Uh, how do we. Bunny box? I don't know. Stop it. Bunny box. Put it here. No. It's a whole box of those fur It's a whole box of those furry things. Yes. How do we use it? Put it on me? Ah, there we go, maybe. And they're off. Oh, there he goes. Run out of bunnies pretty quick here. we got for bunnies they all kind of went at once i don't know if you're supposed to i feel like we're gonna blow up hmm no hmm hmm no is there more bunnies in the box Can't reach it. Hmm. I hate surprises. No. No, can't walk any further. Hmm. Oh. Deals by oh, 
All right, what the heck? Mm. Well, is there more bunnies back at the store? Does not look like it. Dang, there goes another value back. This is where he gets arrested. Oh, there's more bunnies. Yoink. Infinite bunnies. Bye. starts over. Shite. Okay. Uh, so maybe you can grab the bunnies when they come out of the box? Let's try this bunny thing. No. Bunny on me. Guess not. I gotta go over here first. I don't want to set off. It's a whole box of those first There we go. Okay, so we've got all the bunnies, and we walk as far as we can. These boys. Bunny in the pocket. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Hmm. No. I'd like to wrap this around Rip Burger's neck. Set off any of these boys. Hmm. No. Another bunny. Oh. Oh, he didn't go very far. Telling you about Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures, rack them up. Let's Ooh. Quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh well, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. 
stupid. Your father. I said shut up about my dad. enough. Mm, not quite. <laughs> Malcolm wants... I said shut up about my dad. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. I'm losing my temper, Marine. And hey, you're about to lose much more. Let me go, or else... Or else what? <laughs> I'll sick the poor cats on you. The poor cats are in jail, Ben. In football, <laughs> remember? Can't threaten her. It's not listening to anything else. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. Uh, I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. Let me go, or else. Or else what? Not really in a position to make threats at the moment. I'll call you the names. I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. Let's try calling her names. Uh, let me go or else. Or else what? I'll call your names. <laughs> like what? Mm. Freaky. Oh, she was a freaky toaster. Yeah, she loved the toasters. Maybe that'll be it. Toaster loving old maid. No, maybe not. Let me go, or else. Or else what? I'll call your names. <laughs> like what? Mink farmer, no. Thought it might have been toaster. Diaper dynamo. Let's try that one. Diaper dynamo. How did you hear that name? Your father. Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times. I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I. I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way... We take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's Smash Up Derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. 
Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction. Oh, someone's at the door. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another mass newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pyla, Dory Schmorley. All right, boys. Second. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly The cops. Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Are you Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Turn around. Oh, it right click is reverse. What are you doing? Get over here and nail me. But they said head on. I guess try from the side. Oh, it's so hard to drive. Get out of here. When I bounced off the roof, looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Oh, I can't avoid these other cars forever. Ah, the oil slick.
out of here, you bastard. She's stuck now. off. Box dead. up the ramp maybe get up there she's like stuck Just run around uh, well, we put them this out. way, or we'll go down the. Well, okay, you heard of Avenger. Man, quit clowning around and make a diversion. I am a diversion. No offense, but we need a bigger one. The bike is guarded. Who cares about the bike? Mo says it's important, so we're not leaving without. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. That's the way out, but 
I can't do that. He's the runner and the torch all in one, folks. Wish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. jump down when they're coming at it. Can't find me. What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm, funny smell. What's that, the temperature light? <laughs> well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key? What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Uh, this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. <laughs> see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Right. I look at the bits. Ah, okay. Combination. Excuse me. Combination. Combination. Fifteen forty four ninety two, and this one's only got five digits. If it's a normal lock, it'll have six. Hmm. Oh no! Look back. Two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. Click on anything else. Was it 87? The only one that looks close to a combination might be this one here. Uh, 
So I got letters and numbers. Okay, so mm -hmm. talk to her, Maureen. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. Mm. I'll see what I can do. Right. Hmm. Can I leave? Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. She gave us some photos. Oh, she gave us the photos that were developed. Uh, so this way. Is there any other direction? Like you can't go directly in front. That's one big door. Sorry, the meeting's already started. I know. Let me in. Mr. Ripperger's giving his keynote address. No interruptions. But I'm a shareholder. Yeah, right. Jerk. Mr. Ripperger's giving his keynote address. No interruptions. But I'm a shareholder. Yeah, right. Jerk. Jerk. Guy's a dink. Okay. Maybe there's more ways we got. Let me go back down here. Shift. No. I'm not going in there. It's the exit. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way. He doesn't care, he's not even at his booth anymore. How do we get behind the building? The Corley Motors factory, holy ground. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. Okay. But where are the utility meters? Come on. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. 
And if I lined up that crack with my eye level and kicked the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. Line your eyes up with the crack. I'll see what I can do. Right. Okay, so out we go again. And this automatically drives us back. Okay, back of the building from here, there's gotta be maybe there? Oh, jeez. There's the meters. Okay, so we want these all to be black. Looks like there's a crack here. So eye level? This rock is a different kind of color, almost. I'll beat it up later, when I have more time. Mm. Oh, okay, so I think like that. Kick. Hey, we did it. We go under the spooky thing. Floor safe. I'm going to go straight for the safe. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we did have six digits. Ah, uh, shit. It was... 15. Uh, I should have put it in chat. I think it was 44. And then. Uh, 90 something. Anyone? No? Do? Oh, okay. There we go. There's uh, some sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. Take it. It's open. Do we have it? <laughs> Let me look at my stuffs. I got bunnies for days. Uh, and tape. And whatever that is. I, don't know what I sure is. hope that's Corley's will. Okay, let me check out the computer. Uh... Furniture moving? No. Eyes? Very austere. No drawers. <laughs> now that's art. out the window. Look at that stadium burn. That's going to take a bite out of the pension fund. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in the hallway. <laughs> okay, so we got three doors. And some sort of power switch thing. Locked. That one's locked. This one locked. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. Oh, I see. His loss. Affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. 
And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected. Put the pictures on the slideshow, maybe. His dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. <laughs> Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security. Help! Security! What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it. Mamus must be saying things. Okay, so a purple door? What's the purple door do? It's locked. It's locked. We got a is that like a access? This one was locked, but we have a key card or is that what this is? Cool. Uh film reel. That sounds like we'd want to do that. So that's what we got here. The will? Recorded death stuff. Uh, can we... I sure hope that's cool. I sure hope that's Corley's will. Wheel based stereotyping. <laughs> what the what the hell is going on up there? I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, uh, yes. As I was saying... I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. <laughs> okay, so that's not it. You gotta do it in a certain area. Uh, mm. She's still in this one. Maybe she's... Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this crap? Ah! Help! Security! Run away! Same guy, the big one. Catch him this time, will ya? This is gonna get old fast. Guy's still locked. Purple door. It's locked. Yeah, okay. Um, Okay, so maybe when she's in this room, I can go to the other room? Because I can't, it wouldn't let me put the film on, so maybe try that guy, that guy, and then get out of here. Ay, ay, ay. This is intolerable. I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry about that. Check out. Oh, and she's in there. Oh, what the hell? Stuffed shirt. Ah! Help! Security! Why can't you catch that guy? 
donuts weighing you down. That woman needs some sleep. Back in here. Oh dear. Perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About a... Uh, uh, I... Oh dear. Well, I'm out of ideas. Okay, so she should be occupied now. There we go. Let's put, put the pictures on the thing. Uh, this button. These guys. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. Hello there. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripper. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh... Oh, he's not gonna like that. You had to hear that tape from... One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Uh -oh. He's gone! Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That's great, Ben. I'm the one you were meant to be all alone. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. There's gotta be more. Ripper is not gonna take this easy. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. Oh. And there it is. Wow. Is he interrupting my sleep? 
was dead. Was we really shouldn't have I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of the older cycle operation. What's that? Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Give him the bunnies. This might be useful. So we're after we pick up your bike. A little bit of a time limit there. Jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. I think we're on the right track, but what must have missed something. that chain yeah I'll check if the chain's still there I think I still have it he made a comment about wanting to put it around his neck earlier so Crafty doing. Oh, damn it. All right, well, let me use the. Take the thing. Oh, there we got an arrow. Okay, so can we put the fat this guy here to prop it up? Pretty small. Ah, shit. Stick the chain in the in the fan. Oh, let me try that again. Or if it'll let us skip this. Ah. So after we pick up your bike. We'll Skip it. My gang out of jail. Nope. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you, you go business suit job. Stuck watching it. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. Interrupted by speech. 
Open the grill. Stick the chain in the fan. Saving the chain, You're right. Let's try that fan's like a big it up. What else we got? We got bunnies. Those are not helpful. It's meant for us. We can... Oh. Maybe. Maybe we do use the bunnies. Maybe we put a bunny in the fan. Ouch. Let me try that again. As uh, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. Okay, we're gonna do this. Bunny in the radiator. Oh, shit. She interrupted my speech, then. She really shouldn't have. I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of motorcycle operation. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Open the panel or the grill. It puts the bunny in the grill. No, can you smell that fan's like a big meat grinder? We did get an achievement for what a rabbit ragu, uh, but it didn't help us. Find out okay. Never showed up to help. Let's see here. Maybe we gotta grab him or something when he tries to close the hatch. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I said, um, peace and quiet. There wasn't much of a window, though. He's just there for a second. I 
think the bunny was just a steam achievement. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Okay. Open the grill. Flip the thing. I don't know this part. Panel. Open the panel. Grab him, grab him. Ah. I'm not putting my lips on that. Don't lick him. Grab the thing. Don't think so. I got his cane. Can we put the cane in the radiator? It'd be longer. Uh. Progress now, this dude. I don't see a nut anywhere on that. How do we cut the fuel line? Just rip it. What do we got? We got bunnies. Chain? Good thing evil has bad aim. We, uh, what's going on here? Console. There we go. Uh, what do we want here? Trying to fly, so take off. Uh, systems check. Door, okay. Oh, go back. Take off. Gear. Can we check gear? Or, well, raise gear, that'd be like the... the oh, lift the tires up. Okay, here goes nothing. Will that work? What the but we got no wings! Ben, what did you do? Ben! Ben! Are you alive? I am, but I don't know about Rip Burger. I can see him. He's out cold. Climb back here, quick! Oh, ah, uh, climbing. How do I... Just go... <laughs> Nothing to hold on to over there. 
Careful, Ben. Ah. Taking you and your friends with me, Ben. All you're taking is the wrong kind of medication. Here? He's being a dink. Okay, how do we get done? Ooh. Can we press the fire the machine guns at him or something? Does this work? Fence? Machine guns. Fire. Oh shit. I think I ran out of time. Oh, let me try that again. Should save it from yeah, okay. Ben! Ben! Climb back here, quick! No, no, go inside. And try a skin. Uh... Fire! <laughs> I think you just killed a seagull! <laughs> Nothing to hold on to over there. I wonder if you can go through through the top of the bar, like the cabin, and then out the back. Let's see, is there a way? Shift. No. Okay. God damn it. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Ben, climb back here quick. Go this way. Nothing, nothing, nothing to hold on to over there. Nope, he's going down. He's gonna get shot at. Yeah. Wanna go down the, the left side, not the right. Yeah. Don't do that. Uh. We like click like towards the tire or something. Shift doesn't show anything. Frustrating. No. So I don't want to 
lets me climb down the right side or the left side, but you get shot out at both sides. So what the hell? Mm. Maybe you... Ouch. Let me try that again. Yeah, I'll check the dash options again. It's a good idea. Ben! Ben! Climb back here, quick! Let's see here. Main menu. Right menu. Prohibits the use of cargo for defense. Okay, so it doesn't let us. Yeah, we turn it on. I don't know if the engine was caused me to uh, fall. Let me or try that again. If that was time. Ben! Ben! Climb back here, quick! We'll find out right away. Main menu, engine, start. Okay. Instant blow. Damn. Let me try that again. There's other options in the cabin. Like walking around or ben, something. Ben! Ben! Climb back here quick! Up. Right. Which is also up. Doesn't look like there's any of these buttons do. This arrow, yeah, the arrow leads us there. Get shot at. It's not a very long game, it just takes forever to figure out these damn puzzles. Ouch. Let me try that again. Alright, yeah sure, let's take a look at the dashboard. Again, here. Ben! Ben! Climb back here, quick! I got the main menu. Defense. I got an activate armor. Detached trailer. Window bars? This vehicle's extra armor was removed. Increase fuel efficiency. Engine menu. No, that'll blow us up. Freight. Check the other ones. No vital signs. Fuel tank. This vehicle has been reported as stolen.
Let me get out of the menu. There we go. That's all in defense. Uh, let's see here. Defense had. Ah, yes, I'm bitch. Defense had the, the machine gun turret that's on the front and something else. We fired the machine guns and he laughed at us and I think he got a achievement that again. for shooting a seagull or something. Yeah, the looming seagull was the achievement. Ben, Ben, climb back here quick. Let's see this guy. Defense. Let's do, do control maintenance. Schedule defense. Machine guns control. Aim. Can't move the turret. Okay. Debris affecting mobility. Yeah, ripinger. He's hanging off of it. Let's fire it again. Hanging off the front. That's too close. He's gonna get shot at. Can't like climb out of anywhere else except up. Last option? What was their last option? Ah. And that's how it ended. Just blew up. Let me try that again. Right. I think the last option in defense was the trailer, wasn't it? Or no, that was cargo. Let's see. Get in there. No skip ben, button. Ben! Climb back here quick! Defense. Detach trailer. Oh, and you can't detach it. And the gun option. Do, do, do. Boat. Oh my god. Corley Motors has equipped this vehicle with socket mounted medium barrel machine guns. These are safety devices. <laughs> nice. Not to be used for sport. Crowd control. I like it. Let me out. supposed to be a way to get down here Nothing into the back do over there yeah he'll shoot at me if I'm on this side Gonna move to the cab. <laughs> I blew up again. When the option it said fire, aim, and something else. Um, it was move the turret, I believe, and you can't move it because it it gets stuck, or it says there's something hindering movement, which would be the old dude hanging off of the turret. 
Ben! Ben! Climb back here, quick! Okay, in here. All these arrows go out. Right does the same thing. Shift highlights things. System off. Oh, look at you. Well, the answer's that. Hey, we can get down now, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, not that way. It's too far to jump. Yeah, good call. Wait, come back! We need your weight in the plane! Oh no! My bike! Oh, let me try that again. Okay, I think we ran out of time. But... Progress. Making some progress. So we quickly move inside the interior. Climb back here quick. And we'll turn the uh, defense guns control off. <laughs> We'll try to jump on our bike right away, maybe. How poetic. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to play uh, this forever. Uh, they have a button that lets you Wait, switch graphics. Uh, let me. What is it here? Controls. Not there. Uh, da, 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 da. Render mode, F1. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Check this out. Can't even see my bike. <laughs> Get it. Life was a game to him, and he played it by his own rules. He was a mystery to most of us, and yet an inspiration to us all. He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. So. So. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion and riding around in limos, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben... <sighs> just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? 
Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. <sighs> Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great. Nice. In memory of Roy Conrad. I wonder who Roy is. It's so seamless too. You can transition between like the old graphics and the new graphics and um, the audio even changes like Okay, so Roy Conrad, uh, he passed away in January 2002. He was an American voice actor. He's the voice actor for Ben. Um, so that's unfortunate. That's nice that they put the tribute in there. Go see if they got any cutscenes or anything. Oh, there we go. The cast. <laughs> ben. Roy Conrad. Mark Hamill is Adrian? That's pretty cool. One of the cops was the the dude, I can't remember his name. It sounded like the guy that voiced uh, Brain from Pinky and the Brain. Guard Gunner, Maurice La Marche. I butchered his name there. Can't remember the cop's name. The PCNRD07 saves the day with his turn the machine guns off. Picknard, like not sure how to say your name. So 
somebody drank my Sprite. It's kind of cool. Um, the green screen just wrecks the can. It just takes all the green out. It's neat. It doesn't seem like a very long game. You could probably case it in like two or three hours if you didn't screw up. Like I think we spent more time trying to get past a little puzzle than anything. Uh, I guess that's part of the fun. new game. Might start some Pokemon Snap or something soon here. Not sure. Got a few friends on the leaderboards. Gotta come for their scores. Get them four star pictures. Yeah, you're right, Dunk. Well, even still, like, let's let's throw a bunny and radiator fan and see what happens. Like, that's that's an option. One of the games I'll play in the future will probably be Final Fantasy because I haven't done the remake, like Duel Do 7, when the expansion comes out for PS5. That said, um, I think uh, GameStop, EB Games, you get a steelbook with the new game that comes out if you pre order it. Uh, what do they call the expansion? I know all my friends have played it and I haven't yet, so it's, it's on the to do list. Yeah, Integrade. Aha, Hal Barwood said it was a good idea. Darren Stinnett also missed Christmas. And Vince Lee almost drove him crazy. Uh, yeah, we got it for the PS4, uh, but you get a free upgrade. But I don't think you can just buy the expansion for PS5 when it comes out. You got to get the game, which is... Um, like, I know you get the free upgrade, but I don't know if you get the, the new content. I like these credits. Wind about not being in the credits. Uh, well behaved at the ranch. Alex Bennett, he's a good boy. Unspecified wrangling. It's like a project manager. Um, yeah, the more content comes out in June sometime. It's a release date. June 10th? Yeah, 
Yuffie, elaborate on Yuffie's side of the story. Teddy the Wonder Lizard. It's all thanks to him. Nice. <laughs> the team would like to thank the following cats. Chuck, Dandelion, Eartha and Pumpkin, Frida, Indy, Hobbs, Monkey, Trouble, Smidgen, Whisper. Smidgen. It's a weird name for a cat. Tim would like to thank no cats and does not endorse cat ownership. Tim, I like you, Tim. I'm allergic to cats, so whatever, but cats cool. Special biker haiku section. Bar fighters leap out. Moths tangle with orange hot flame. My nose thrice broken. Splitting lanes that rush. Beamer tries for a cutoff. Taste my righteous chain. Booming thunder rolls, clutch release, throttle open, red smear on pavement. And then we got wet grease on the road, makes me laugh, my buddy sides under a truck. Uh, enough haikus. I didn't expect anything in the credits except for names, so this, this is pretty cool. Emmett drops a load, green crap coats the road like snow, just take a little. Todd doesn't like you, bang on the door, but say nothing, can you not talk? Eh? That's funny. I thank the Lord each day. Whiff in the asphalt, hot letter, shiny mather, see I am manly, my male fantasy. Now a profit making game, maybe I'll get chicks. Maybe he did get chicks. It's like, hey, I was one of the lead developers on Full Throttle. And boom, panties drop. Got an achievement for thanks. No cats. Go bunny go! Oh, they're multiplying. See old bunnies? Oh, that sound effect. We did it. Alrighty. Well, it's five. Take a break, and I might be around later. And play some Pokemon Snap or something. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good night, day. Have fun at work, Crafty.